Hi there and welcome to our lesson 4 on uh, Before It's a Green World and today we're going to be looking at photosynthesis and the factors that affect photosynthesis. Um, some of this links into what we did in uh, C3 about rates of reaction so it's a little bit of revision for that as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you later. So our objectives for today and the factors affecting rate of reaction by the end of this lesson, you should know and understand how the different factors can affect the rate of photosynthesis. Now, there are three things that affect the rate of photosynthesis. The first is the temperature. The second is the carbon dioxide concentration. Whereas the third is the light intensity. Now, all of these are what's known as a limiting factor which means they have, the amount of them have an effect on the rate of photosynthesis. Now, as you increase the temperature, what happens to the rate of photosynthesis is it increases. So, we actually follow a pattern that looks like this. As you increase the temperature, the rate increases. Now, at a point, the rate starts to level off and then it decreases and it decreases until it stops now at this first point here the temperature rises so does the rate of the reaction now you can see around here it levels off and then it drops now this is because it's a limiting reactant and at stage two the rate of photosynthesis stops, and this is because above 45 degrees, the enzymes that help control photosynthesis are denatured so that they stop the photosynthesis process happening. Now, a similar thing happens with the concentration of carbon dioxide. So as the concentration of carbon dioxide increases, so does the rate of photosynthesis. And again, it gets to a certain point and then it plateaus, which means it no longer has an effect on the rate. But unlike the temperature, the rate carries on at the same point. So what's happening in the graph? Here, as the concentration increases, so does the rate of photosynthesis. This means that at this stage, carbon dioxide is a limiting factor. Now, when we get to stage two, the increase in carbon dioxide concentration no longer has an effect on the rate of photosynthesis, so it can no longer be a limiting factor. So the limiting factors here are the temperature or the light intensity. Now, our third and final factor that can affect the rate of photosynthesis is the light intensity. Now, as the light intensity increases, again, the rate of photosynthesis increases. And similar to the carbon dioxide, is it then plateaus uh, to become no longer a factor. So, at stage one, as the light intensity increases, so does the rate, making it a limiting factor. Then, at stage two the light intensity no longer affects the rate and is no longer a limiting factor. So therefore, the limiting factors must be the temperature or the concentration of carbon dioxide. Now, respiration occurs in plants as much as it does in animals. And the follows a very simple reaction. And this reaction is the opposite of photosynthesis. So glucose reacts with oxygen to make carbon dioxide and water. Now this means that plants can also give off carbon dioxide uh, because of that product of respiration. Now respiration is needed in plants the same as it is in animals and that is for energy for living processes to happen. Now with respiration and photosynthesis, respiration happens all of the time whereas photosynthesis can only happen when there is light so during the day photosynthesis is available and happening 
and so is respiration. Yet during the night, respiration occurs, but photosynthesis doesn't. Now during the day, because we have that photosynthesis happening, a lot of this carbon dioxide is actually used in the photosynthesis process. But then at night, photosynthesis stops, so carbon dioxide is just wasted or given off as a product of respiration. Okay, so we have looked at today the factors affecting the rate of photosynthesis, and they include uh, the temperature. Now remember, the temperature increases the rate until it gets to 45 degrees. Uh, then you have the concentration of carbon dioxide, and that concentration increases uh, as a limiting factor, and then it uh, stops having an effect, as does the light intensity. Now we've also looked a little bit at respiration and how respiration is the opposite to photosynthesis, and that produces carbon dioxide, which can, during the day, be used for photosynthesis. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.